Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Krista, and I am so excited that you're here. Today's look is this New Year's Eve vibes tutorial. I did an eyeshadow look as well as the lip, and then I also did a first impression on the Numi Octa Wand, which is this guy right here. It does have eight interchangeable heads, and I got it for Christmas. So I did do a first impression on the curling iron as well. Stay tuned for a full review. In a few weeks, I will be doing a dedicated video to that. And also stay tuned, I'm going to do a much more glam New Year's Eve look for my next video coming out on Saturday, so definitely keep an eye out for that. This is just a little bit more casual, no fake lashes, no like extra glitter, just a little bit, and a nice red lip. I think it's great for just kind of hanging out if you're not doing anything super special for New Year's Eve. So if you want to see how I get this look and my first impression on the Numi Octa Wand, then stay tuned. All right guys, so I have you zoomed in. We are jumping right in. I am using the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. And it does come with a brush, but I'm not gonna use that right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with my Morphe M532 and this shade here. And I'm gonna blend that into my crease. Then with a Morphe M433, I'm gonna go in with the shade here. And I'm gonna pop that right in the crease. Really tight in there. And then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of that first color. Blend that all out. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with the M433 in that darker shade and just gonna kinda go back and forth until it is as dark as I want. Then I'm just gonna take that little Smashbox brush that comes with the palette and I'm gonna take the black shade and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. Just wanna deepen it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with the M433 and that second shade, and I'm just gonna blend that all out. And then back in with the first color, blend all that out. There we go. And then, I am going to take just on my little ring finger because I kind of want this to be like not super saturated glittery, like wet glittery. I kind of want it to be like loose glittery. So with my little finger, I'm going to take the shade here and I'm just going to kind of like pat that around. I don't want it to be like too much. I feel like sometimes when I do those like glittery looks and I spray the brush and stuff, it's like so much and I'm trying not to get like to be too much in this look. I just kind of want it to be like subtle. But I think I'm going to take my Jouer Skinny Dip Palette. This is the Ultra Foil Shimmer Shadows Palette and I am going to go in with the shade here, Magic Hour, on that same little ring finger. And I'm just gonna, again, kind of pat that 
Oh my word. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of the starlight shade on my pinky finger. It's gonna pop that right in the inner part. Inner corner. Kind of feather it out. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Then I'm just gonna go back in with that M433 and just kinda blend that. And then the, with the first brush, we're gonna move on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics small crease brush and the second shade that we're using, this one, and I am going to blend that under the eye. Then with a flat shader brush, this is the Morphe M432. I'm gonna take the black shade and I'm gonna put that right up against my lower lash line. Then I'm just gonna go back in with the BH Cosmetics brush and blend that out. Then I'm gonna take my Starlux eye pencil in Topaz and I'm gonna put that in my waterline. And I'm just going to take my BH Cosmetics brush. So I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara. I don't think I'm going to do lashes today. So I'm going to do two mascaras. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise and the Wonder Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I'm gonna highlight quick with my Morphe M510 and the Fenty Beauty Highlighter. And I'm gonna mix the two. And then I'm gonna use the same shade to highlight my brow bone. Okay, I'm just gonna spray my face with a little bit of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay, I wanna do a red lip with this look. I think that will just be so classic. I'm gonna use the Kylie Lip Liner in Mary Jo K. And then for the lip, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Lip Paint in Stenna. And I did use this in my Secret Santa Picks My Makeup video and I just love it. Okay. So the second part of this video is I do wanna do a hair tutorial kind of situation. I got the new me. Octo wand for Christmas and so I do want to try it out so I'm going to combine a first impression with that so I'm gonna zoom you out and warm it up and we will get to it okay actually before I plug this in I just wanted to show you a couple of things so here is the case and it is zipper and it comes with a glove as well so that's nice I'll be using that I hate burning my hand and then um, it all comes in this case. So you have all of the pieces and they're all wrapped. Obviously the wand and the one that I picked was all in here too. And then the wand looks like this. It has control for the power and then up here is where you insert your selection. So I did the 32 millimeter barrel. I want like some loose curls. And I am going, so you just line it up on the inside and then you twist this to lock. And I'm gonna plug it in and turn it on. Okay, so it is hot, it's all green. So I'm gonna curl my hair. I'm gonna start with a piece in the back. About like that. And I'm gonna put the one behind me and I'm gonna twist my heart around the barrel I'm gonna leave a bit out too 
I'm gonna hold it for like 20 seconds. And I do have the heat at 390. I have pretty thick, stubborn hair, so I wanna give it a chance. And then I'm just gonna hold the curl for a second, let it cool off. Okay, nice. So I had like a cheap Amazon curling iron set, and I think it had four heads. And I actually burned the 32 millimeter one on my carpet. Um, but what I always disliked about it is how it made my hair feel afterwards. So I'm excited to see how this one does. I also didn't like that my curls would not stay at all. So we will see. Put it behind you. And Try to keep it flat on the barrel. And leave out a little bit. I like the length of the barrel. It's nice for my long hair. It's like getting all of it. The other one I think that I had was shorter, so that's really nice. So now that all my hair is down, I actually like to do the front pieces first so I know how to like alternate. And I actually saw a girl do a trick for this. And I want to try it. If you put it here and twist it, and then you like pull it out to be at your nose, I think is what she did. And then I guess like the curl falls like right where your face needs to be framed or something. Okay, for this side I'm gonna take a smaller piece and I'm gonna go backwards with it, up and down, and then I'm gonna pull it down. Just kind of get it, the curl right where you want it. All right, so we bring it all forward. Just kind of get it here. Shot. Ooh. Okay, I'm just going to I'm gonna separate everything with my fingers. Ooh, it is shiny, it is loose and beachy waves. I'm loving it actually. I really like it. I thought it was quick to warm up. I thought it stayed hot really well. I think the curls look really nice and soft. And I can't wait to try some of the other barrels too to get some like tighter curls. This is obviously like the biggest barrel, so it is gonna be like the loosest curls. But I just, ooh, look at that. Gorgeous. I'm into it. I like it. And I don't think my hair feels like gross or anything like that. I think it's really nice. I think it feels really nice. It's soft. It's shiny. It doesn't look like I just curled it. You know, sometimes you can tell that someone like just curled their hair. Ooh, look at those PC waves. Ooh, girl, I'm into it. 
so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it turned out so pretty. I love the red lip. I love the silver and I'm digging like the no lash look. I think that's kind of fun, especially for like a New Year's Eve party. I know my night is going to be very casual. I am going to do a super glam look next, so keep an eye out for that. It should be out on Saturday. But I just wanted to do something kind of fun where you're just like hanging out with friends and you're still cute, but you're not like too much, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy bye.